Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we should be getting our third gym badge, which is exciting. Uh, we don't know what kind of gym it's going to be though. That's the danger. So my immediate, well, obviously what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the gym to check out uh, one of the underlings and see what kind of Pokemon they have. My thought is lead with CC for such a thing because CC uh, is normal type and will uh, probably be pretty neutral against just about everything and also has Intimidate. So no matter what it is, they're gonna take an attack drop. So that's uh, a very good start for us in that department. Um, gosh, let me tell you, the, the way we record these episodes is a little bit like in advance, so we have time to like edit them and schedule them out and stuff like that. But last episode is when we had the, the whole debacle about whether or not Moirin was a legal catch because we actually caught Moirin on Route 3, uh, which is where we also look, met in Route 3, and then if we go down to Sporkles, met in Route 3. So there's obviously a problem there, except that we, um, I put it to a vote over on the over on the community tab, and you guys pointed out that even without realizing it, we may have invoked the shiny clause, wherein uh, since Sporkles is shiny, it didn't count towards our first encounter, and Moirin was still our first encounter uh, thereafter. So uh, you guys voted. I said I would abide by your ruling, and even though it's been a few episodes since then, I can only address it on camera now. Um, but Moirin stays. Great. Moirin is on the team. No big deal. Uh, it would also have meant that we had an extra encounter on Route 4, but obviously I was under the belief that we uh, didn't. <laughs> so I squandered that. Uh, so sorry about that because Route 4 continues on the other side of Mount Moon. And yeah, that happened. So my bad, my bad, y'all. We just, we met, this is the cost we paid. And the end, we still got two Pokemon. So it's, we'll just pretend Moirin was on Route 4, even though it doesn't matter because we didn't break any rules as far as I'm concerned. So today, let's see, let's go. I mean, why? I don't see why we don't just head straight into the gym, see what we're up against. Uh, although maybe, maybe before we do that, we should check in with the team, see how everybody's doing. As you guys know, uh, team team Big Fangs over here, uh, Fang unit uh, between Dracus and Cece, going strong, going strong. Dracus is only getting stronger. See, like it's the only two females on the team. They both have the Big Fangs. They're both just like Cece is the ultimate guard dog for little Dracus here, who was getting very close to her first evolution, just five levels away. Got to tell you, Happy to me is the obvious team leader. Although since there's not much unity amongst the team. It's not as leadery as you might think. And I have to say, having evolved so early, I think in Happy's mind, he's he should be like so respected as sort of like the leader of the team. Um, and obviously Sporkles joined. It was just like, yay, and Happy and Sporkles. Uh, we've talked about it. Just good friends. Sporkles riding around on Happy's shoulder all the time. But there's, there's definite favoritism developing. Like Happy is starting to not be as like flippant about the, the attitude between these two. Um, who, by the way, you, poor Data. Data just just wants CC to like him, and because look, I mean, look at look at Data. He's got fangs. He's like, can I can I can play? No good, no good. So that's unfortunate. Moirin has been, I mean, the the drama of whether or not he's even allowed. That's been a thing. That's been a thing. He's just been stressed out about it, but. You know, I think he feels like a little bit of an imposter at the moment. He's like, even though we've said it's okay, part of you can tell Moirin is like, I don't belong. I don't think I belong. And that's, I mean, it's sad. So um, you do belong with us, Moirin. Anyway, we need you because you have cut and you're going to get us into this gym and we are going to go see what we are up against. What's the what? I hate the stupid mechanic of unlocking the gates in this gym, but before we have to deal with that, let's see what kind of gym it is. Hopefully, I mean, I guess we'll see. We'll see. I don't have a hope for what it is. We're just gonna find out. Randomizer in play. Let's go. What's this guy got? Sailor Dwayne, Soul Rock. Okay, so it's so this doesn't entirely help. It's either Psychic or Rock. We don't we don't know for sure in either direction yet. Let's go ahead and hit it with a bite though because that is going to oh fire spin what an interesting move for it to have gonna hit it with the bite boom super effective no problem can do it again 
Confusion. Okay, this shouldn't be a big deal. I don't think... Oh, it's a crit. I was like, man, that did a lot. It's okay. We made it through. Okay, so the second Pokemon should help, unless it happens to also be Rock Psychic. Should tell us for sure what we're up against in this gym. Let's see. And it's a Relicanth. Okay, so it's actually a Rock Gym. We are going to switch right now to Moiren, who is just going to wreck this thing. The four times effectiveness with the grass moves tackle. I don't think so. You know why? Because we're just going to Mega Drain that right off. So this is going to be um, a big gym for Moiren for sure. Actually, we are in good position because uh, we have Moiren who can just heal off any damage. No problem from rock types. And of course, we have Happy, our amazing uh, team leader water type, who is also just going to wreck things. Although... In that case, that would have been uh, a little bit more neutral on the, the water rock type. So rock gym, we have moved, uh, instead of being the first gym badge, it is the third gym badge. That's cool. Um, I think what we're gonna do to combat that then is, oh, whoops, no, can't use that. We're just gonna switch Moirin out to the front. Moirin is otherwise the lowest level on the team, not helping the imposter syndrome, let me tell you. Sorry, Data. Um, and we're gonna let Moirin, I guess we could switch Data out and get some levels too, because we have, actually, so this is a weird thing. We have two water types on the team. Obviously, Data provides us with some ice coverage as well, in case we come up against dragons, which is much needed, but mm, there is, um, you know, it's hard when you're, uh, Data is not actually uh, a, uh, an ice type yet has the ice moves won't get the ice typing until it evolves into a dugong so at the moment we just have two water types which i think also leaves data like just feeling so lonely like not accepted by cc not as good as happy just mm, poor data poor data anyway let's uh go wreck some more of these dudes in here it's so funny that data might be so effective in this gym though because typically water types not a good uh part of this gym. Golem! Okay, so potential thing to look out for here is whether or not this thing has self-destruct or explosion or something. It totally could. Um, I think we're going to wreck it on one go anyway, because it should be like four times weak. Yeah, we're good. So, uh, Moirin is just going to destroy that thing. But always have to be careful of stuff like that. Uh, and a Leiron! Okay, so this is a little bit trickier, because it's... Is it part... Are Leirons part rock? I thought they were, is it, if they rock steel? I would have thought it was steel ground. I'm trying to think, is, but Relicant is rock water and soul. Okay, so it's definitely rock. I'm just, I just don't know. The thing is, steel is good against grass. So should we pull the old switcheroo? I think maybe we do, just to be safe. We'll go into data. Uh, maybe we should go into CC to get the Intimidate now. We'll go straight to data. Straight to the date. Uh, there we go. Iron defense. Okay, so we would have been okay. Um, let's just hit it with a water pulse, though. A oh, boom. Maybe we'll confuse it. Go, Data. Oh, so close. So close to getting that knockout. Oh, the iron defense. What a waste of a turn. We're faster, so we're just going to wreck this guy. No problem. Fight. Water pulse. Boom. Dead. Ha! Take that. Take that, Engineer Bailey. You've got nothing. What does this guy want to do? Mm-hmm. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict colonel? CO? Yeah. He was a hard job. Lieutenant. No, it can't be colonel. Strict CO. Commanding officer. That's it. I got it. I know military things. Cradley! Okay, so this is... Well, I don't even know what the second... Bug? Bug rocks? A bug is also good against grass. Um, but I'm still not that worried. Uh, I think... We're gonna see how Mega Drain does. Ooh! Astonish. That shouldn't do much. That did not do as much as I would have thought it was going to do. Um, let's leech seed it. Oh, it, it doesn't affect it! What? And why? Why does not affect? Do not understand. We're gonna switch. We're gonna bring in the big data. Mm-hmm. Do it. Water pulse. Acid? This thing has got some moves. Oh, we are not doing as much damage as I want. <laughs> uh, headbutt. Ingrain. Oh, it's going to get health back. What am I... Am I wrong about the typing on this thing? Is that part grass? This is nonsense. Uh, let's go with... Let's see how Aurora Beam does. Data flinched. Oh, no. This is bad. Now it's getting... And acid. Uh-oh. 
Maybe we're gonna need to switch. Oh gosh, data. Super effective. Okay, we found the super effective move, but we have lost the. Yeah, I think we're gonna switch. Um, let's throw out. Who could we go to here? Maybe we bring in. Uh, let's bring in Dracus. Your astonish does nothing. Uh, I, I'm not sure why. Well, this maybe wasn't like the. Oh, there's the flinch, but we didn't do much damage to it. This thing has got some. Well, maybe maybe this will work. No, I am totally just. That was a dumb move. But this thing has got some resilience. I'll give it that. I'll give it that. Constrict. Are we stuck fighting now? Can we switch out of constrict? Maybe we'll go to happy here. Okay, we can. It's not. I just want this thing dead. It's making me nervous how it's, uh... Like, just getting all of its health back each turn. I don't like it. All right, team effort to take on the Cradley. Man, what is the typing on Cradley? Oh, Magical Leaf. Yeah, yes, let's get that. That seems very good. Can't miss, right? Oh, that's very good. That's very good. Um, but what should we get rid of? Ooh, that's the tricky thing. We have Poison Sting and but clearly better. We're gonna keep Mega See, yeah, we're gonna, okay, so sorry. We're gonna get rid of, at the moment, Poison Sting, I think, for Magic Leaf, because it's a stronger option. We can use the Mega Drain if we need to heal, and we also have Leech Seed, so we have two healing options. We're just gonna go ahead and do this and heal. Speaking of healing, go over here. I'm still gonna lead with um, Moirin at this gym. Because I think the rock typing is going down. Maybe we can just lead sheep, whatever he sends out. But I feel comfortable with it. Only trash here. Now we got to do this stupid puzzle. Oh my gosh. Hey, there's a switch. Could we get it? Oh no, they're reset. Okay. Nope, only trash. This is the worst. Oh, we did it. Thank goodness. My gosh. That can take so long. It's just so luck-based. It's like, I you want it to be always like to the right of it, but it's not. It's like, oh, it's here. It could be this one. It could be this one. It could be this one. It could be the. Oh, it's just so annoying. Anyway, I think we are just about ready to take on Lieutenant Surge. One last check of the team. Oh, yeah. Everyone good? Everyone good? Our strategy, send out Moirin. Possible Leech Seed, probably Giga Drain, possibly Magically. Probably not going to use Cut. We have CC for Intimidates. We have Data for Water Pulses and Ice Beams. We have Big Happy. Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. I like our odds here. All right, here we go. Badge number three. Hey, kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat. Not with your puny power. I tell you, get electric Pokemon saved during the war. They zap my head in paralysis. I have the same I'll do to you. Dramatic. What you got, Rockman? A Geodude. Nothing. You've got nothing is what I'm seeing. We're going to wreck this thing right out of the gate with a Magic Leaf, with our Can't Miss Magic Leaf. Very handy because sometimes, like, if you get up against an opponent who's using a lot of sand attacks or a lot of, like, double teams in particular, got to have something that can't, you know, that can be, you know, if you're, if you're playing a regular playthrough, you can just try over and over until you get what you, uh, what you need. But in this case, so this is a little trickier because the psychic will hurt our poison typing, but I still think we're okay, honestly. Like we could switch. I think we can do it. I think we can let's magic leap this thing. I think we got it. We'll see. Oh yeah, one shot for Moirin. Crushing it. Well done. Well done. We'll still see. Moirin, you belong on this team. Ah, the Kabutops. Well, it's a very fun ace Pokemon for him to have, but it is uh, not going to help him at all. Because I don't even think that was his ace. I think the, uh, I think, because this is only level 18, so the Solrock must have been his ace. That must have been the Raichu. This is just going to go down because it's four times weak to Magic Leap. And this is going to be the easiest gym battle we ever had. Kablam! Three attacks, three one-shots. Moira in for the win. 
Uh, there you go. End the level. 26. Nicely done, Moira. Crushing it. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. Fine, then take the Thunder Badge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Shockwave. Okay, speaking of moves that can't miss, uh, I think the obvious recipient of Shockwave should be Mighty Sporkles, right? Because, you know, Sporkles ain't going anywhere, right? Let's see. Um... Oh, but CC could learn it as well. That would give CC more coverage, but uh, not going to be the way to go. We have Spark, 65. Ah, see, this is the tricky thing. Maybe we maybe we should give it to CC because we already have Spark, which is 100% accuracy and is stronger than Shockwave. So, but then, okay, maybe we're going to hold on to this for the moment. Um, yeah, we're not going to do it. Was that was it was there anyone else? No, it's just CC. So the thing about CC though is that CC is a physical attacker. So Shockwave is a special attack. Uh, because all thunder moves are special attacks. Although I think it would be either way. Um, so I don't think that would be very good for CC. What do you want? How are you doing? Oh. Looking for look for me on route too. Okay, well that was a pretty easy gym. Not gonna lie. And now what we need to do though is go get Flash, I believe, which uh, I don't, I don't love that we need Flash, but I don't want to do the rock tunnel in the dark. Um, who should we leave with? I forget what's in this cave. We're going to put Kate out from because levels and we'll see. I forget what's in Diglett's cave here. We'll find out real quick. It's a neck in. So let's just water pulse this thing to death. Oh, it didn't die. Wow. Come on, Dana. You can do it. There we go. You think? Oh, it's a pillow swine. Uh, let's hit this with a water pulse. Super effective. Confused. Excellent. Those one confused. Hit us off confusion. Nice. Well done. Level up for data. Beautiful. Here we go. All right, man. It's so. Oh, there's so many more. You think? I thought it was just Diglett and Doug Trio in here. We are getting away from this thing. Can't escape. Oh, gosh. Please don't. Oh, man. I don't like that at all. It was poison. What nonsense is this? Um,. Good up. Happy. self destroy Oh, God. Happy. 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 You got this. You got this. <gasps> That's why I don't like Weezix. That exact thing. <laughs> That's why I switched, because I was like, I think Happy could take a self-destruct. Um, and he could. Well done. Whew. Made me nervous, though. God, these potions are non-robust at this. They're already outgrown potions for the most part. Goodness. Oh, another Minin! How adorable! You're not as good as our Minin, um, obviously. Um, I'm just gonna run because I don't want to fight an electric type with our beautiful water seal. Oh, another Weezing! Maybe we go to CC for the Intimidate? Yeah, to make that a little bit weaker in the event of a self-destruct. Come on, see. Oh, there's the poison gas again. Gosh, these things are so annoying. We're just back about thing. Cece gets the level. Well done. Well done. Well done. We're gonna have to heal off more. I only had three antidotes. Wouldn't have imagined we were gonna get so heavily poisoned in Diglett's cave. Apparently, it's just a poison place now, though. You got this. Water pulse. Water pulse. Ba bam. Ba bam. All right. Man, this cave goes on and on. Almost there. Oh, a golem. Okay. I think we can knock this out in one shot, though, for some easy XP. Yeah, 505. I'll take that all day. We can run into golems all day. I think we just have to go in here, right? You don't... No. For the Mr. Mime. Do we not, uh... We can... I guess maybe you have to get cut first before you can come down here and get flash, right? Yes. What? What? Are you kidding? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is, oh, oh, do you know what's happening? This is a real bummer. Okay, so I think what's happening is because, oh no. This guy's only checking the Kanto deck, so I only have three Kanto Pokemon. So we can't get 
flash. That's so annoying. Oh, man. Oh, boy. What a... What a tease, man. That is so annoying. I am upset by it. I'm upset by it. I'm gonna lie. Okay. Well, we just came through here for nothing, turns out. Is there anything up here we can get? There must be something in the grass up here. Oh, well. Man. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go through the rock tunnel. Um, completely blind, I guess, because there's not really much more we can catch that I'm aware of. Uh, and we definitely aren't gonna, all we have, what are, what are our Pokemon then? Oh, it's gotta be, it's Livid. <laughs> Livid's one, Data's one, and then who else uh, would count for the Kanto decks though? None of these are Cantonian in nature, right? Maybe it thinks we have a Bulbasaur? But that doesn't make sense either, because then it would think we had a Venusaur, a Plusle! Can't escape! Oh god. Um. Boy. Oh, come on. We're gonna switch the leader of this. Because, boy, it turns out this isn't a great cave for, um. Data to be leading in here. Why, why do I even keep fighting the Weezings? Is the real question. Arr, buck. What does the third Pokemon it thinks we have? I don't know. We don't want this thing to self-destruct us. We're just going to get away from it. We just want to get out of this cave. It's a nightmare in here. Oh, no. Well, I guess that helps. Don't poison me. Everything is poisoned in here. It's so... I, I don't know why. Take this thing down. Oh, the crit tackle. Look at that. Booyah. Ugh. And another. Wouldn't it be crazy if we ran into a second shiny mine? And that would be the. I mean, I think mine would have to be like. Oh! Wow, that spark did so much damage. I shouldn't be surprised because. Oh, I, the guys, they're, they're taunting me with the scythers. It's so. Why? Why must you taunt me with the scythers? This is the second patch of area that... <gasps> whoa, whoa, hold on, what just happened? Something, did that thing use pursuit? <gasps> wow, that was so dangerous. We almost got, we almost got, not, we almost lost Cece to a scyther just now. That would have been, this, this cave is scaring me. Focus energy, wow. Wow, we, oh, that almost just happened. I almost completely missed it. That would have been terrifying. Okay, no more messing around. We got to get out of this cave alive, y'all. We're switching Happy out to the front. Lead us out of this cave. Okay, we're done. We're getting out. There it is. There's the exit. That was a dangerous cave. That was almost a horribly dangerous scyther. All right, now we're just going to make our way to the rock tunnel, I guess. There's plenty of trainers to fight up there. Here we go. We're gonna make it. We've got, everyone's feeling good. We've made it out of that cave. We don't have flash, which I wasn't, I mean, it's another uh, HM that we were probably gonna have to give to Sporkles, I think, but it doesn't matter because obviously we can't get it. Um, but I think we were gonna have to give it to Sporkles and it was like one of those, the last shiny Pokemon we had also had flash. That was our, or, or the last time we had such a aerial ace. That's awesome. Siru had flash on it, and it did help. So, because like accuracy lowering moves aren't the worst. It's just not maybe maybe you don't always want to have it on there. Let's see. I don't think anyone can learn aerial ace, but we should check because it's another can't miss move. Dracus can. That's very interesting because it's um, eventually Salamence is a flying type, so that would get the stab. Happy can as well. That's surprising. Flying is a physical type attack, so that wouldn't be the worst. I don't think is uh, happy a physical, or more physical, or more. Uh, let's see. We are attack 72, special attack 64, so we're more physical, which is a bummer because water type attacks are special in this game. But um, 
What would that give us coverage on? It would give us grass coverage, I guess. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. We'll keep that in mind. We're gonna have to fight uh, this guy. Let's see, what do you want? Happy's ready to destroy something. You're knocked owl? Bring it. Water gun. Oh, foresight, okay. Didn't do as much as I would have thought. Or scratch though, geez, that thing. I guess because it has high special events, that's what I'm, a ditto, that's hilarious. This guy's a normal type trainer and he has the ditto. Okay, so we're definitely gonna scratch up front because he's gonna transform into Feraligator, that's scary. What a, what a good move for him. Oh, and it survived. Look, it picked up so many stats by copying us. Man, maybe we should have switched for the transform. Um, doesn't matter. That's funny. You never see anyone fight with a ditto. Uh, very, very fun. That's okay. Let's uh, move someone else to the front to get some of these trainer battles out of the way. Who needs a level? Uh, Dracus, you haven't gotten much action today. Get out here. Get out here. Ha <laughs> bring it on. All right. Calm down, man. What do you want? Hiker Allen. Clefairy. Oh, wow. So in future generations, this would be a really bad matchup because Clefairy picks up the fairy typing. But for now, it's fine. There you go, headbutt. Oh, minimize. You see what I mean? This is what you don't want. You don't want the uh, the minimize because now is where like something like Magic Leap will come in really handy. Follow me. Okay, yeah, we got it. I got it. Can we hit it? Yeah, we got it. Evasiveness, no problem for Dracus, who is laser focused. Mm -hmm. And another Clefairy. Okay, so we're just gonna keep headbutting. Maybe we'll get the flinches. We did, there's the flinch, that's excellent. We go. Oh, the double flinch. Man, how focused is Dracus right now? He's like, I will flinch that fairy. Fairy flinching. Dead. Dead. Burn heal. <laughs> Hope you brought a burn heal. <laughs> the punchline to so many Pokemon memes, am I right? Go my super bug Pokemon. Will you have bug Pokemon or will you have random other Pokemon though? Let's find out. A Wolverine. Okay. So this is actually, a, this is a bad matchup because that's an ice type and we don't like that. Um, let's see, Wolverine. So, uh, mm, ice is also good against grass. So I think we're gonna have to go to Sporks here. You got it, Sparkles. Oh, look at that shininess we have. Oh, Body Slam. Okay, how do we do, how do we do? Okay, we're good. And we did not get paralyzed, which is good. So maybe we'll just knock it out real quick with the, with the Spark. We got seven levels on it, but it is fully evolved. Oh, almost. Oh, the Encore? Oh, you want more sparks? You want more sparks? That's no problem. I can spark all day, man. Now you're dead. Okay. Congratulations. Spork is going 411. That's nice. Is this guy going to be... Okay, so he is an Ice-type trainer. Hmm. Oh, we're stuck on spark stuff. Is the Encore. No bigs. Oh, and paralyzed! This is why Sporkles is so powerful. Wrecking this guy. Wrecking him. What else has he got? One more? One more? Glalie! He does have good Pokemon. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and we don't have great options for fighting ice at the moment. This is... I don't see... I think we still got it, though. Go Spark. Yeah. Yeah. Paralyzed. Get paralyzed. Can't move. Bam. Encore ended, not gonna matter, it's gonna do it anyway. There's the spark. For, oh, almost the win, paralyzed though. Look at this, look at Sporkles taking care of business. It's like, what, what? You're an ice type? I don't care, you're paralyzed. I'm awesome, I'm shiny. Consider yourself sporked. Let's see, we're still leading with Dracus though. That's good. Definitely something in the grass right there, right? A Chesto Berry. What does that do? Um, Berry Touch. Uh, what does it do? Oh, enables it to wake up. Give? Alright, we'll give it to... Uh, I, I doesn't really matter because it's whoever, right? Um, who's likely to be fighting like a grass type? So, uh, I guess we'll give it to Dracus. Why not? Have a Chesto. Have a Chesto, why don't you? Ha <laughs> ha! Aren't you a little toughy? I guess. Hiker Bryce would like to battle. Explode! Oh god, you gotta. It's a, a big one. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. Let's send in CC for the intimidate here. 
Yeah, very nice. Astonish doesn't affect me. Take that. Let's also charm this guy to just really weaken everything about him. Yeah, now you've got nothing. You can do nothing and you will not harm us and we will just tackle you to death. Howl! Okay, it's like he's trying to recover the attack even though he's dropped three stages. Great. Good for you. Yeah, it still did nothing. Sorry. CC with the punch. Dracus screwed 26. Nicely done! Getting closer. Four levels away from that evolution, y'all. That's excellent. Porygon 2. That's hilarious. You'd never see anyone using Porygons in regular... Like, I mean, I think it'd be so fun to catch a Porygon because, like, you never use one, right? The only way to get one in this game is the... Um, at the game corner. So this would be a very interesting... Conversion to what? Into the Psychic type? Did it not have enough letters to spell out Psychic? That's fine with me because we'll just use... Um, Fight now that you're weak to it. Dead. Yeah. Good conversion, though. You nailed it. Make yourself weaker. I'm fine with it. And eradicate. Okay, so the thing to be careful with eradicates is the hyper fangs. Like, it is. Uh, those things are critical hit machines, and they can hit hard because eradicate has a high attack, and. Oh, God! There's that. There is, as I say it, okay, look at that though. CC handles like a champion. I so thought that was gonna be way worse. Uh, but we got it. We got it. Yeah, CC's defense fell. Doesn't matter. You're dead. CC with a knockout. One, two, punch. Boy, I, I can't believe how well we took that um, hyper fang. That was impressive. Trying to learn roar. Don't think so. Yes. Didn't lose more. Okay, great. Don't need it. Don't want it. Here we go. Does anyone need a potion? Let's double check. Uh, Sporkles, you can have one. Why not? Don't you dare patronize me. Why not? I, I just, I'm just walking here. Executor. It doesn't really matter whether she's grass or psychic here because only has one Pokemon. Um, although, are we stronger with Bite or Ember? They're both special, so it's not going to matter. So, Bite, because we've just a stronger attack. Wow. Super effective. Booyah. Stomp. Oh, the stomps are. <gasps> Whoa. That was strong. That was strong. I think we're going to have to switch and we're going to go back into CC to throw an Intimidate on this thing. That stomp was insane, and he hits us with the hypnosis. Look at that. Had they tried to hypnotize um, Dracus, we would have been fine. Instead, here we are. Um, so who should we go to here? I think, ugh. Well, I, hmm, this is tricky. I think we're gonna go, uh, can we go to Moiren? It's not really gonna be over much damage. We need to get out of sleep. So I think what we're just gonna do is Awakening, right? There we go. Stomp. Gosh, that's the second crit. What is this thing? I do not like it. If we had, I thought about switching to Dracus. Had we done it, what is happening? Something um, is, oh, my computer is asking me for things. Hold on. Here we go. We're good. Uh, we're, oh, why'd I do that? I can use bite. Oh, don't confuse me. What up? Oh, oh. That was so dangerous. I think we're good. We're going to bite out of this. Oh, goodness. Executor. What an opponent. What an opponent. Woo. Picnic or Caitlin. I am sorry if you felt patronized. I did not uh, intend it. Obviously, you were angry about something. Cece. Carrying the team today. All right. That makes me think we should give Aerial Ace to uh, uh, Happy there, because, man. But well, see, that's the thing. Like, Would we have switched in on a potential Grass-type move? I don't think so. Route 10. So this is actually a new route. Let me see. Route 9, Route 10. We can catch something in that grass. First thing we're going to do, though, I thought there was going to be one more person to fight. First thing we're going to do is catch something in this grass. Let's see. Uh, Pokemon... We're going to lead with Sporkles so we can paralyze whatever it is. 
All right, here we go. The catch. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? If we catch it, of course. Like, God, why? Don't assume anything, right? My goodness. It's a Sneasel. We've missed one before. Can we catch this one? We are significantly stronger than it. We shall thunder wave early. Mm -hmm. This would be a dark and ice type, so it would... Very interesting. Very interesting. I want to believe that the quick attack would not just kill this thing because it's a pretty weak attack, but we are uh, almost twice as many levels. I think we can risk the bisque. And we'll throw a quick attack at it. Yeah. Oh no, no, we critical hit it with a quick attack. Are you serious? <laughs> no, why? Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good. I think we can do another quick attack and then we'll try and um, throw a football at it, right? Yeah, okay. That should be good. Now we can't do anything except attack it, so that's a little bit dangerous, but it's not gonna matter because we're here straight for... Let's go Great Ball. Why not? Because it's got a little bit more health than I would otherwise like. Let's see it. Come on. One, two, three. Oh! No, it got out! That's so annoying! Uh, okay. All right, here we go. Well, we don't have Great Balls, but we do have Pokeballs, so let's go. We got 19 tries at it, guys. Ah, mm. oh, and the Pokeball succeeds with a Great Ball could not. I've seen it happen so many times. Great Balls, what a scam, what a scam, am I right? Ben gets it. All right, Sneasel's data was added to the Pokedex. Look at this, bam, it paw, its paws conceal sharp, sharp claws. If attacked, it suddenly extends the claws and starts its enemy. All right, we gotta get a name. We gotta get a name, hold on. All right, I'm gonna defer to Ben. He's gonna choose someone's name. All right, Ben, I need a name from the comments. Let me know when you see one that looks like it would be good. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna okay. slowly scroll. Let's see here. I kind of like Albert. Albert? Excellent, wait, where do you see Albert? Albert, uh, Bert, uh, Bertaton? All right, there we go. I'm gonna screenshot that. All right, Albert it is. Albert? Oh, it is It is female, if that makes a difference. Alberta. All right, classic. Alberta. Al from <laughs> Alberta the Sneasel from Canada. <laughs> okay. Albert, there we go. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So the question is now... Uh, I think this is where we're going to end the episode, but the question is going to be, should we add Alberta to the team? Uh, she is only level 14, so we'd have to do a little bit of grinding, but that's no big deal. We could do that. I'm okay with it. Um, the, uh, it would it would seem to me that if we were going to do such a thing, Data would be the, the, the switch out because... Um, we already have a water and data will become ice, but so this would give us di ice and dark coverage as opposed to water and ice when we already have water. On the other hand, gosh, how bad is data gonna feel if we <laughs> if we box him? That would be that would be the worst. It's like, oh, are you feeling insecure? Well, um, so, uh, are you unsure about your spot on the team? Welcome to the box. Oh, I feel so mean. It would feel so mean. But um, you also have to think about what's the best for the team as a whole because you don't want anyone to die ever. There's also that. So, oh, man, we have a tough decision to make. Let me know in the towel section below, should we bring Alberta onto the team? Um, otherwise, we got our third batch today. Next time, we're heading through the rock tunnel on our way to Lavender Town. It's going to be a dark episode next time because there's because we can't get Flash, apparently, which is a real bummer. But uh, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to leave a comment as well so you can have a Pokemon potentially named after you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. But until next time, bye. <laughs>